Question 2. In the first part of this question, we're being told about three processes and we're supposed to state and explain whether the change would be accompanied by an increase or a decrease in entropy. State and explain. And as there's only one mark for each, we can assume that we're going to have to have the statement and the explanation to get the mark. So the first is the freezing of water. It's always a good idea to start this with an equation. H2O liquid is forming H2O solid. And we can see here that there is going to be a decrease in entropy. And there's many ways that we can explain this, um, but one common way is to say that there is less freedom of movement in the solid. In solid, which implies less energy and then less energy implies fewer ways to disperse the energy. Now you could have got the mark here just for talking about the system having more order in the solid state but this is a better and more complete explanation. And the next is the reaction between calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. Again, a good idea to start with an e equation. So calcium carbonate, which is a solid, always good to put state symbols in for these entropy questions, really essential. It's reacting with hydrochloric acid. It's going to form calcium chloride, carbon dioxide, and water. And when we look at this, we can see that what we've got is a solid and a solution forming a solution, a liquid, and a gas, and really it's that the gas is formed which has high entropy due to a large volume and hence many ways to arrange the particles. So we would predict here that there would be an increase in entropy. Now the formation of ozone from oxygen. Again we start with an equation. If we're going to start with oxygen gas and form ozone, which is also a gas, in order to have three atoms here, we've only got two over there, so we're going to have to multiply this by two, and then we need three oxygen molecules to make two ozone molecules. And so we have essentially two, three gas molecules going to two gas molecules and there's fewer ways to arrange these. And so we would predict again a decrease in entropy this time. Now a number of people uh, have been putting in water going to the liquid to the solid but there's more ways to arrange the particles in the solid. That's not um, in the liquid and hence uh, the solid has lower entropy. Now, that's not quite correct because the density of liquid water and solid water is very, very similar. And you have to remember that if we have, say, four particles in a line like this, one, two, three, and four, and they're all identical particles, if we have another arrangement of these where we put two, one, four, and three, for example, actually these arrangements are what we call indistinguishable so this would only count as one way of arranging the particles you only have different numbers of ways of arranging the particles if you have some space as well and therefore you might be able to move particle one into the space which leaves a space vacant here if you can't distinguish between the arrangements because the particles are the same that means that it's actually in essence the same way of arranging